13 minutes past eight breaks co-ops third album is out tomorrow sounds familiar the second album was a decade back so there are some questions to be asked about the gap in between uh, the other side of course put them on the map it was the most played song of the year a top five hit in britain and won the tui for the song of the year and andy lovegrove is with us good morning to you good morning how are you where you been um i've been at home with the kids and the wife and writing and producing this new album and amongst other things. So because five years is a big gap, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big gap. But after, I think after the, the last two, after touring the last album, we were two, nearly three years on the road. So we were all a bit tired, I think, and oh. had an, enough of looking at each other for a bit. So uh, we took a little hiatus. Because bands seem to do that, don't they? So there's obviously some something do. that happens to some people once you get a bit of success, get on the road and work really hard that you go, yeah. nah, that'll do. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think um I think some bands seem to manage it successfully and they can just keep turning over and over and over but uh I think for us pretty much at that time I think we've probably a little inexperienced in that respect. Um and we burnt ourselves out and Interesting. And because were you expecting the hit? Cuz that was big, wasn't it? That it that, was, that huge, was yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was huge for us and uh no no. I don't think I think you always I think you always th hope in your heart that it will be but uh, you never know for until it happens so you were surprised by it i was i was you, you weren't in the studio going gee that one there that's a hit no. can't wait to put no, that no I, I knew it was good but i didn't know it was going to be that big mm. but then th that you saw that was it though wasn't it that commercially speaking that that was it yeah and so you've taken a slightly different approach in this album as i understand it yeah yeah i think i think we, I think I think maybe on the sound inside, the other side was the commercial hit. Oh. And I think when we wrote this record, we had one eye on radio and wanting there to be more than one song on this record that would translate well on radio. So in other words, you so, want more hits? So we've written an album full of singles, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so you and, you, you and Hamish, because you, you're in England, you're in Britain. Yes. Hamish was or still in, is in Berlin? He was in Berlin. He's now living in Singapore. Is he? Yes. Joking? No. I love Singapore. Everyone hates Singapore. I don't know why. I like it a lot. I, I love stopped, it. I stopped there on the way here to spend some time with Hamish because he's obviously my, one of my best buddies and it, it was great. I really enjoyed people it. People say my brother lives in Singapore too. Yeah. And people say it's a very sanitised, you know, no. controlled, very humid sort of no. place. But I just see a place that's, you know, got its act together. It's slick. People seem happy. Yeah. I, I, th I think it's, it's really vibey. For yeah. me, I, I was re really loved it actually. Good. Yeah. What was it? Because Berlin's a hub of sort of cultural and it creative is. genius, it is, isn't yeah. it? What What is it about Berlin that's it's great, it's so great? What happens there? Why, why does anyone go to Berlin? I think lots of musicians are really attracted to it because, firstly, it's cheap to live there. Is it reasonably cheap? I think, yeah, comparatively to say London or Paris or somewhere like that. And uh, I don't know, maybe because they all, you know, once a few musicians gather in a place then they'll everyone else is kind yeah. of magnetized towards it and they uh, and so it's uh, it's built up it's got a, a huge history culturally of uh, mm. music and okay so and you lost zane zane low yeah i lost him somewhere uh, along the way he, yeah. he he got he got his gig so so at any point did did breaks you know become something you think oh god he's gone so that's it no. or so there was no no, no problem breaks cop is still zane low hamish clark and myself so how's he involved He's not on this record, right. but that's part of the ethos of the cooperative element of the, this band. You know, people will come in and go out. He's an extremely busy man. You know, he's, mm. he, you know, he's so successful uh, and in so much demand that it was very it would have been impossible yeah. for him to participate in this record. He's got a radio gig to to explain to people. He's a major. He's a major oh, yeah. name in Britain. Yeah, yeah. He has the uh, the evening show on Radio One mm. four days a week. Yeah, it's a huge show. So he, would he be back? Do you see him as being back? Uh, I spoke to him just before I came over, and he said he'd love to do another album. He's, he was gutted that um, he, he he couldn't get involved in this one, he, but he felt that he, he would have held the whole process up. Yeah. You know, if he, if Zane had been involved, it would have been sort of one session every eight weeks or something, yeah. and you'd still be waiting for the next record. So, so you're on your break, <clears throat> you're a hiatus, yeah. And as I understand it, uh, your wife goes um, <laughs> get out and go do she something. Did. I, this is. You know, it's so true. I mean, she, she, she got really tired of me not being creative. My, my guitar had been sat in its case gathering dust 
And, you know, she said, part of the reason that I fell in love with you was because you're just, I love your creativity and you're just not doing that. Wow. So I've booked you a ticket to go and see Hamish. And, Seriously? And so she. And this is absolutely true. I've booked you, I've booked you a ticket for, to go to Berlin and you're going to spend five days with Hamish and please come back with something or else. And you did? I did. Are you afraid? Three songs. We wrote the first three songs on the album. Home. Uh, uh, sounds not, not not sounds familiar. Home, uh, love lost, and um, running. How did you how did you react to it? Did, did you resent the fact that she was calling you not creative, no, or did she, no. that's a lovely thing to do and good no, on I her? I thought it was a lovely thing to do, actually. Brilliant. I think I needed the kick up the rear end. <laughs> and you've got twin girls too. I do yeah. I I have twin girls. Do you? I do have twin girls. Oh sweet. And they're the greatest thing in the world. They twin are. girls. Twins. I love twins. Does everyone say to you double trouble? Yeah, they did. Oh, what, double trouble. And I always how, think, how no, yours? they're not double trouble. How old double are the joy. Exactly. How old are yours? Two years and seven months. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's fantastic. No, no. They're the greatest thing in the world. And it's, I always say to people, it's, it's nature and well, nurture. I feel a real affinity with you. 100%. See, nature and nurture, right? You watch them in life. Nature versus nurture. You know all the people who say you can, you can nurture your kids to be somebody. You can't. Yes. Those, those girls, you look at their personalities. Yes. In 10 years' time, 15 years' time, they'll be the same kids. Absolutely. Same kids. Totally. Nothing changes. All right. Um, are you going to play something for us? Can do if you want. And you've brought what we what we can't unless you're watching this on the on the web. We've got 900 people in the studio, all with guitars. And so so what are you going to play for us? Oh, we're going to do sounds familiar because that's the, <sighs> the new single. I know. Um, uh, yeah. I think are you all right? You you, you 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 sound like you're not ready for it. That no, it's just it's early. Eh? It's just like early in the morning. I know what well, it is to be singing I this kind of song. These songs are all so demanding vocally. So are they? What they are you building? Are. Us, what are you building us up to here? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to miss a note or something? But no, it's just like it's you know it's roller and. It's all up there and down. There. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to hearing oh, this. Whatever, man, fantastic. <laughs> Andy Lovegrove and Breaks Co-op. I'm with 
expression that you read it, each and every line. Brilliant. Andy Lovegrove and Brakes Co-op on the Winery Tour. Put the dates up on the website. Good luck with the album. Lovely to Thank see you. Thank you very much. It is 8.24.